What's up friends? My name is Hubby and today I'm going to be leading you through a 12 minute crunching workout just for your abs. So what we're going to do is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, five different variations of the crunch. But first we got to do a minute warm up. So join me in mountain climbers in three, two, one. Let's start with slow mountain climbers. So just drive one knee at a time to each elbow. Take it slow. We're just warming up our abs. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go faster for 30 seconds to bring up the heart rate. Make sure your shoulders are in line with your palms pushing down from the ground. All right, get ready. We're gonna speed this up. In three, two, one, let's go. Mountain climbers. We're gonna bring up that heart rate so our muscles are activated and our body is physically prepared and we are mentally prepared to work the best we can through this 12 minute ab workout. All right, take a break in three, two, one. Flip over, we're gonna do a traditional crunch first. So for 40 seconds, just give me a crunch. Now, the difference between a crunch and a full sit-up is the crunch is only bringing your upper body off the floor. So pretty much your shoulders, just like this. And what I want you to do is think about leaving with your chin. So pretend like there's a string attached to the ceiling and pulling your chin up. This is gonna work your upper abs Take a quick break in three, two, one. Nice. All right, so you can stretch it out by bringing your arms overhead. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a biking crunch or a bike crunch. So bring your legs out straight like this. Now bring them up in three, two, one. All right, bring one elbow to one knee then switch sides. Switch, 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 switch. You wanna think again about bringing your shoulder off the ground, fully intending to twist your body and bring that elbow to that knee. Make sure to breathe. Take a break in three, two, one. Nice work. All right, lay out like this. And while you're taking a quick rest, we're gonna do a chop sit up. So bring your legs back up and your heels on the ground like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna chop forward, then come back. Let's start, join me full sit up. The chopping motion is what is going to help you sit up all the way without losing balance. Chop between your legs just like this. Nice. Now the momentum is supposed to help you fully sit up but if you're feeling strong you can just do a full sit up with your arms out like this. Take a break in three, two, one, break. Take a breather. Don't worry, you'll get a second chance at those chops in the next round. So what we're gonna do is a jackknife now. This is where you're gonna bring your legs up and your arms up to touch your toes. Let's go in three, two, one, Let's go, jackknife. Now, think about closing your body like an envelope. You wanna meet your legs and your arms halfway. If this is too challenging for you, you could always do a suitcase sit up where you sit up and bring your knees towards your chest, just like this. For advanced, full jackknife. Take a break in three, two, 
two, one. Ooh, my abs are feeling it. I hope yours are too. All right, so next move we're gonna do is a Russian twist. How that looks is you're gonna be sitting up on your butt like this. Your body's 45 degrees. Legs either down or up if you want more of a challenge. Twist left to right. Join me now. So again, beginners and intermediate. Bring your legs down just like this while twisting your body, keeping your upper body in a 45 degree angle. Advance, bring your legs off the ground. Stay concentrated, keep your eyes on the prize. It's only 40 seconds at work. You can do anything for 40 seconds. Take a break in three, two, one. Woo! All right, quick break. And then we're gonna go back, do that circuit one more time, starting with the crunch. Again, we're gonna just do regular crunch. If you want an extra challenge, you could bring your legs up to your elbows in a marching position. Let's get started. So give me a crunch with the march across the body just like this. Or just give me a regular crunch up and down. Pick between one of those two moves, just crank them out. Lead with the chin and with the chest, not with your forehead. Take a break in three, two, one. Stretch it out for a second. Now we're gonna go into a, a bike crunch, but this time we're gonna go a little bit faster than last time. All right, follow my lead, because in five seconds, we're gonna crank it out. Let's go in three, two, one. Crank out those bike crunches. Left, right, left, right. I want you to think about kicking your legs out and straightening the leg that is not touching your elbow. Push through, almost there. Abs are on fire. Take a break in three, two, one. Woo! All right, now we're gonna do our chop sit up. So I'm gonna challenge you this time to not bring your arms overhead and use the momentum. I want you to bring your arms down just like this. Do a full sit up. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Sit up, sit up. Now, if this is too challenging, you can go back to that chop with swing your arm overhead. Or if you're still finding trouble sitting up, you can put a weight in between your heels and use that to bring your body up. But you wanna make sure you're crunching with your abs. We're so close. Take a break in three, two, one. Woo, my upper abs are feeling it. All right, we're almost there. So next move, jackknife. If you can't do the full jackknife, just do a suitcase crunch. Again, with bringing your knees to your chest. Let's go in three, two, one, jackknife. Make sure to bring your entire upper body off the ground. <sighs> Exhale as you come up to touch your toes. Woo! Feel the fire. Take a break in three, 
two, one. Wow, we're almost done. Last move, a Russian twist. So, again, you're gonna bring your knees up like this, heels down on the ground, or if you want an extra challenge, bring them up, and then you're gonna twist your body. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's finish strong. Russian twist. The legs down, your hip flexors getting a little tight. Oh, I'm struggling. Woo! Keep going. Stay determined. Push through. Don't stop. You can regress your moves, but don't stop moving. All right, we're almost done. Three, two, one. Woo! That was, that was a tough one. All right, so join me in a quick stretch because stretching after a workout is just as important as warming up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over, join me in a Sphinx pose. So bring your elbows down on the ground, bring your head up. Make sure to check out my other 12 minute workouts that are formatted very similar to this on my YouTube channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you liked the workout, if you would like me to add anything, or just tell me about your progress or your goals. I love hearing about everyone's fitness journey. All right, now. If you want, you can bring your body up into full cobra. So again, my name is Sebi, and I'll be posting more videos like this for Jumpstart January. And let me know how you feel after each workout. All right, let's stop in three, two, one. Quick, quick breath. Thank you so much again for joining me for this 12 minute ab workout and I'll see you in the next video.